this guy. Yep. So it will be a bit more on the front foot now. Yep, definitely going to be more on the front foot. Killer Mantis. Especially against shit like this. We don't know what they can do. 190. Yeah, these are these guys are tough. Wow. These guys are very tough. This mean we weren't throwing a death. I think it's worth one set of moves here to see what happens. But I think particularly with these enemies, they're just too high a level. Yeah. Okay, no nonsense. Let's just get rid of them. Or we'll try. Yeah, this is a this guy's a bit of a bad matchup for our weapon set, it seems. Let's have a quick look here. I wonder if maybe her HP at this stage is high enough. Let's bring her to the front. We're not seeing like massive damage. I think we've had one room that's had um, that had like three chests in it. So I don't think it's been every single room is a trap room. Trap chests I like, but trap rooms when done to this scale, like maybe if it was like one in every eight to ten rooms you entered was a trap room, then fine. But the ratio that they have in this game it doesn't work for me. So I came from there. Um, let's just sort out this entire right side first. Wow. Um... They haven't really, they've done like one hit on me for 200 damage, which is quite heavy, but... It really is taking like the entire thing to, to make it work. So one of their weapons is doing like 40 damage against these guys. Yeah, the sword, like the, the knife is really bad against it. So this is really bad. Let's try that. I'm going to use a death here because I want to see what Guy can do with his weapon set now. Changing up might help. Usually it doesn't seem to. That one does good damage. That one does better damage, I guess, but like not amazing. Uh, yeah. Wingsword does a little bit better, but I guess maybe it's because it's not his favorite hand. Just want to try. I think Bassoon is definitely well on the way to level 5 here. Got a hit. We got a hit. Oh, 
hit. There we go. And up to level four. Nice. Okay. So this little quadrant and then we're done. I think we have to keep working that death. Attacking. Ninety-nine. Yeah, I think the the main gouge thing is better, but not by a huge amount. There you go, Persona level 5. Love to see it. But for her as well, it's going to start to become an MP drain. Especially when there's two, let's just go straight for it, I think. There you go, something a little more interesting, at least. Yeah, the shields all seem to have the same um, stats. Let's keep it moving. I haven't seen, like, the Sace effects have disappeared again. We had a pretty heavy phase of them, like, almost every battle had a Sace effect going on. They've vanished for now. I feel like they're going to be back with a vengeance, hence I'm continuing to work on the sooner. Job done. Wow. Okay. Especially in this three, we're heading straight into action. It's impressive how good Lyda's defense is, even on the front row. Doesn't seem to be taking many hits. That evasion really working well. Not low, not noticing the low HP as much. Spider Silk, that's like a slow, basically. Surely. B4, it just keeps going and going. Definitely a bit of a slog, this area. Let's see what enemies we're going to face. No uh, Basuna acts, activities here. I think we can take the hits here. I mean, they're, they're not like super strong. We've yet to see a break so far. So 
got one set of um, Berserk on there. And already you're seeing the damage is still looking nice. Wow. Yeah, Berserk is a beast, I have to say. as many of them as they can. I'm going to keep using this death until the wheels fall off. I've got lots of... Um... Ethers, so I'll use them. to think that death's probability has to be lower than like a slow or something like that. In general I think we're even against a whole bunch of these kind of enemies we're, we're fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe something good at last. Let's see. We need to pick and choose who we attack a bit more carefully here. Let's get rid of the strongest ones first. Yeah, you see. Because <laughs> then that happens if you don't... Once that Basuna 6 comes, then things are going to get easier again. I can just start focusing even more on attacking. But I feel like in the lead up to the finale, I definitely need that. We're probably like 10 castings away, maybe. Maybe less. Hopefully less. Power staff. Well, there you go. He's all about the power. Okay. I do like the evasion rate that I get from that. It's really nice. I want to just give him slightly better evasion. Gonna... We don't seem to be facing enemies that are MP draining at the moment, which is at least something. Yeah, it's just a lot of these guys at the moment. Okay, let's see the power staff in action. Whoa. Yeah. Living up to its name. But yeah, for those two, we're just going to keep working Death and Basuna. Until we get the final levels that we need. I do want to push Death to like five, at least before I move on to the next part of the game. Nice. OK. 
Okay, a bit random. But these ones are nice, it gives everyone a chance to kind of put their little thing in. Ah, oh, there you go, we've got a slow to hit. Nice. But Death's still struggling, even at level 4 against individual enemies, it's still not working that well. That's another reason I want to just keep pushing it. We're not exactly in any danger right now. They're absolutely just piling it on. Let's at least try and get the majority of them out of here. Wow, it survived all of that. Fair play. Fair play, man. Maybe a death spell is a good idea. I think maybe we need to, like... Back that up with the aura spell. Cast a bunch of that as well. And well, I guess these battles taking longer as a result of me doing this stuff is also good in terms of me gaining HP as well. Because I feel like every Final Fantasy kind of has that attack where. If you don't have enough HP for it, there's literally nothing you can do. There's, there's like not enough buffs, there's not enough time, whatever it might be. So There could come a time where, despite how comfortable, comfortable I've been for basically all of the game, we could find something that could just cause us a massive problem. Simply because we don't have enough HP. Because it's been going kind of almost too well, I guess. So, we'll see. Ah, missed the door. This time I just want to get through. So, like, the, for example, Castle Finn is just a good example of one of those times where it's just too much. Honestly, I might auto battle this. This is just going to take long with all these animations. Right, um, this is a best win opportunity, so we'll take that. Thank you, Green Souls. Flame armor. Well, there you go. Now we're starting to get some more interesting things happening here. I think he should have the flame armor. His evasion drops to zero, but it was never that high to begin with, so screw it. You can have it. Okay. We're almost done with this floor as well. Maybe three more encounters. Oh my god. This is where I need death. This is where I need that shit to work. Be nice. Okay. Um, she took this guy out in one hit last time. Come on, man. It's got to hit at least one of them. Yeah, not this time. Waste our time on this one. Alright, let's see how well this blink works. Not very well, I guess. His accuracy is just too high. Betrayal Fang. Wow. It's a very serious name for an item. Confuses the target. Nice. There you go. Furion's death has hit level 5. From this stage, it's going to be very tough to keep up with his MP requirements. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. 
At least there's nothing on the top left in general. You can just go straight through this way. Let's start to experiment with that level 5. See if I can start to take things out now. Got room for a bassoona. Come on, guys, it's death five. I managed to get a death three to hit on a killer mantis. But again, I think maybe individually it works best unless you're really OP. I'll try a few individual death fives. But I have to assume, even though we're in Castle Finn, we've got to be fighting um, some kind of boss at the bottom of this. So we'll use a, a few more ethers. Love for Basuna to just hit that level 6 as well. Let's do a singular death. I'm impressed that she's still got over 100 MP. Nope. Yeah, it still seems very hard to get it to work. As it should be, really, if I'm being honest. Whoa. Okay. Maybe now it works. Maybe. So, but what we're not going to do is use Basuna here. We're going to take this fight seriously. So you saw Blind and, and, slur and Stop at least got one person, but Death obviously hit no one. Oh... Right. Let's bring their numbers down. Hmm. How did it survive that? Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we could have used, but it's not what we're going to use. Unfortunately, Bad Breath hits everybody. That's the problem. So this could be a game over, which we do not want. How do we avoid the game over here? Other than trying to flee, which is probably not smart here. I feel like I wouldn't be able to get out if I did. I think I have to try this. Okay. See if we can come back from the brink here. Once those state states effects come back into the mix, it's get very dangerous again. So, bad breath coming from these guys, huh? But even like when you're fighting these kind of enemies, you can see the elementals are just not making that much of a difference. I want to see if this works. Yeah, even a sun oh sorry. Yeah, even level three is not enough. Fair play. Nope. 
Nice. Tough battle indeed. Ooh. But for a good reason. Now, is level 4 a sinner enough? No. It is not. Good thing I stocked up on gold needles, eh? Ether. I think that's it for now. So again, some of the most formidable enemies I've faced so far. Still six chests, but we'll just have to see. Let's begin. Uh, but sooner level six still the priority. And I think then, obviously, just when I'm thinking I can get back to it after that, I've got Isuna. Because petrification, as you're seeing, is a huge problem. So we need that as well. There's no rest for a white mage in the Fire Fantasy game. And you'd be a fool to try and complete one of these games without having a white mage that can heal stay stale. It's just... It's like the basics of the basics, yeah? Even though in this game the implementation of it is definitely weird. Finally! Finally! We'll take that. most inspiring set of enemies at the moment after that particularly fun battle. I was on the brink there, man. That was close. It really was. So I think death has about oh, like a 2-3% success rate at this point so far. I'm going to keep working it. Since especially these older Fire Fantasies, they love to throw like six to eight enemies in front of you. Having a way to wipe out a few of them with one turn. Because magic's not doing it in terms of like powerful elemental magic. I think you'd have to have like... Honestly, I think even if you had like fire level 10 or something, it's not going to do like 300, 500 damage. So Elemental doesn't seem to be the way in this game. I've got to be close to level 6 now, come on. Yeah, it's definitely close. Okay. Before I get that... Oh, come on, man. Come on, death. These two can just start working on it because it's going to take a while. Come on. Yeah, still not getting the percentages I want. Like, when there's six, five, six enemies, I want at least, like, two of them to be dying from a death spell. So whatever level I need for that, I, I want to keep working on it until then, basically. I don't know if it's one of these kind of static things where, based on your death level, either it has 0% chance of working, or it's capped at like 3%. So if you do have a high enough level, then you get a whopping 3% chance. And never more than that. That, I don't know. All we can say with certainty until at this point is that the rate is pretty low, even at level 5. Yeah. 
Okay, let's end this. Okay. Definitely have to check that final door. There's still six chests that I'm missing, but maybe there's like another hidden pathway that I don't know about yet. Yeah. Yeah, slow even at level two seems to work, so. Yeah, slow I'm definitely liking. Break at level three managed to work. Maybe I should have invested more in break instead of death. I don't know. But there's not many to go now until level 6 death and level 6 persona. I have to be very close at this point. So it's been a bit of a grindier sesh, but I feel like it's, it's going to be worth it. You've seen, I mean, when you have, when you face like three or four enemies, and well, again, the game can give you up to eight enemies, let's say they have a petrification effect, or they have a confusion touch, then you're going to be in massive trouble, so, yeah. I feel like this is going to be necessary in the long term. Yeah, we're almost at the end of this dungeon. Yeah, there you go. Break managed to work twice, even at level 3 in this battle. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to assume we've done enough at this stage. And while Break seems as effective as Death, I mean, they're just just—they're both one-hit KOs once they work, so... That was my plan, to have both Death and Break be at a high enough level to clear out parties. There you go. The soon has gone up. Finally. Now, we have used up a lot of ether, but... You found the white mask in the chest. Good stuff. I think this is probably like a quick way out. I guess we've got to keep working on break. So I'm editing these out at this stage, but in this battle as well, um, break managed to claim at least one victim and death didn't kill any of them. Maybe these these have a particularly high resistance to it, who knows, but there we go, break is at a level four now. And that walks me out of here. So there's six chests, well, five chests I'm missing. There must be another like hidden bit. We'll just have to recheck that, but I think as of this point, I'm definitely satisfied with everything. So I'm going to rest up, throw in a save, and then have another look at those chests that I've missed.